In this video, we will talk about a feature that just got released with the Avada 7.0 update and it is the visual header builder. So now you have a lot of styles and basically uh, unlimited options that you can implement in your header. And I just want to show you a demo of that. And I also want to go over the fusion slash Avada layout. So let's jump right into that. The first thing I'm gonna do is go over to my dashboard. And once I'm there, I can hover over Avada and click on layouts. All right, so this is the layout builder. And as you can see, there are three important things up top, which is the global layout page, single post, single event, custom 404 page and search. So these are the different post types or pages uh, layouts that are supported. And global layout is very much like global options. So anything you do here will apply to all pages and all posts on all products, on all events, everything. So uh, global, uh, whenever you do something global, it is applied everywhere. Now, if you want to override that global on some specific pages, you can uh, do a page layout. So this can be conditional. This can appear on some pages and how you access the page options or which pages to use this layout on is by clicking on this gear icon and here you can select the specific pages that this will apply on. So I don't want to save anything. So um, if you have a particular page where you want to display a particular header or particular footer, you can use this uh, option and select the page where you want it to appear. Similarly, if you have a post where you would like to override the global options, you can do the uh, single post. And if you have a 404 page where you want to customize things, you can come here, search page or a single event page. So that is how the post types work. And uh, not the post types, but the layout builder works. So quickly going over the header, if I want to now also you notice that this option is blue and the rest is kind of grayed out, which means that in this current setup, we have already customized the footer and we have built it visually like I've show you in the course. And if we want to build the header as well visually, what we will do is click on this plus icon and we will just say new header like that and create a section. So now you see that the header is blue as well, which means that we are visually building it. And to edit this, we will just click on this edit icon. All right, so this opens like a new post editor where uh, we have the option to build with builder or live. We will go with the Avada live option because we want to see everything visually. And this opens the header in a separate tab with Fusion Builder Live. So you don't have to worry about all this content, dummy content. Uh, the area where we are interested in is up top where it says to get us uh, to get started at a container or at a pre-built page. So let's say the easiest thing to do is to start with a pre-built header. So you click on there and this not only contains the seven styles that were previously supported, like this one was there, this was there, this was there, but there are some new ones that you can select from. So if uh, there is any layout that you would like, you can just click on that and get started with that. So let's do that and I will click on header one and say, okay. So once I do that, uh, you see that it added a custom header and everything is inside of a container. So you see the container here. The container has two columns. One column is this, which is a one by four column and the image element inside of it, which is a logo. The second column is three by fourth and it has a menu options in it. So menu options are there where you can select what menu will be displayed. So if I click on the edit, then the main menu is selected right there and it is showing as horizontal orientation. So that is how it is done. Now everything about it is customizable. If you want to uh, put a background right there. So if you want to put a background color, let's say you can do that. If you want to make it transparent, you can do that. 
like you can you have a con complete control over it if you want an image you can go to a to an image and put an image in it so basically it's visually building out the header very very powerful feature and if you'd like to uh, do things this way then um, I would say the best advice I can give you is just start with a pre-built header and go about your customizations then. So it'll have the same options that you have with Fusion Builder. You can adjust paddings, you can adjust margins, you can uh, change properties of uh, elements that are inside of columns. So this gives you a lot of control. Now also if you want to delete everything and you want to go back to where you were, like let's say I don't like this option, I will simply click on this delete and remove so okay so I will just exit to the dashboard now the problem I have is if I go to layouts again there I see that my header is still being applied although it doesn't have anything or nothing that I wanted to use so to do that what I'm gonna do is simply click on edit and simply move this to trash or delete it basically. So once you delete it, then uh, it won't be there anymore. So Avada layouts, and if you look at the layouts, you will see that the option is blanked out and we will be back to where we were. So there you go, the header is not blue anymore. So it's not being applied anywhere and all your options are intact. Once again, global layout applies everywhere, similar to what we did for the footer and these options can be used for specific pages or specific posts which you can uh, complete uh, you can control from the gear icon and then once you are in the fusion builder you have all the independence to do things you can put images you can put elements that fusion builder supports and you can visually build out a header so very powerful feature new in 7.0 and i wanted to go over it with you to show you the new header styles and how to use them so thanks very much for watching, until next time.